Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. This is part two of our Selenium in JavaScript tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to be creating our first actual test case. I already have the code all written out, but I'll be going through it piece by piece, line by line, and explaining how it adds to our general project. So in this first line, we have the instantiation instantiation of the constants we need or the modules that we're going to import from npm so by key and builder we've seen that in the first video so you guys already know where that comes from and then we're also going to require the chrome driver now we have our function test case that we're calling here in the bottom of the page and within this function we have a first driver so our driver is going to be connected to chrome we're going to be building it so let driver equal await new builder for chrome browser and then send this driver to the website github.com. So we do that by using the driver.get method, always using the await function so that it happens at the proper time. And then we're going to grab an element from the page using the partial link text. Now the partial link text is just a snippet of text that exists on an element. And there's an element in the GitHub web page, the sign in button that has this sign in text. So by using the partial link text method, we're able to grab that element and then click on it. So within the, within the scope of the entire line, we're first finding an element by the sign in text that appears on it and then clicking on that button. Then once we click on that button, it'll send us to a new page. So we're getting the title and we're also going to display that title to the console. And then we're going to test that title. So if that title is what we expect it to be, which is signed into GitHub dot GitHub, then we're going to log to the console. Test one was a success. If it wasn't, then we're going to say test one was a fail. And we're going to return this method so that nothing else below it actually happens. And then same as we did here when we found an element, we're going to find two more elements, but this time by the name. And so each element can have a name, depends on what the developer decides to add to it and so the developer of the this github web page has the login and the password both have a name attached to them so we're getting both these elements by their name login and password we're sending it a certain string of keys so i'm sending it steam code for the login and i'm sending it just a bunch of asterisks for the password and i'm also sending it a return keystroke so what this is simulating is me putting in all these asterisks into the input box and then pressing the return key or the enter key. And then beneath this line, we have another test. So if the element flash close JS slash flash slash close is displayed, then we're going to log that this next test was a success. And you'll see what this element is as we go through it. And then we're going to quit the driver once we're done with this test. So let's just run it really quick and see how it works. So if we open up our terminal, let's clear it real quick. Let's say node test.js. And as you can see, it runs in a quick instant because we quit the driver right before it ended. So let's comment that driver.quit element out or driver.quit line out and let's see how it works again. But before we do that, let's look at the console. So as you can see, the title was signed into GitHub. The first test as a result was a success. And the second test was a success as well. So now let's actually look at this more in depth. So let's run the same command in the terminal. And as you can see, the same thing ran, but the driver just didn't quit. So now we can actually look more in depth into this. So if we open this up with inspect and then find this element, as you can see, the class of this element is flash, flash, full, flash, error. Let's go down a little bit further. And this is the element that we're actually testing. Flash, close, JS, flash, close. So if that element has been displayed, then that task then that test is a success, which is exactly what we want to exactly what we want to test in the previous few minutes. So now that we have our first test done, we now have the basics of how to make 
Very simple test in Selenium. We're going to get more advanced with this as time goes on. We're also going to move into some web scraping as well, because as you can see, this has very big web, web scraping capabilities. But this code will all be on GitHub as well. So you can check out my GitHub, which is in the description down below. And if you guys have liked this video, please like it and subscribe it and click the notification bell down below. Check out our Patreon as well, where I will be posting some more exclusive content and just to support the channel. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.